All right, I got my uh, piece of uh, N scale code 55 um, flex track here. Um, went ahead and uh, washed it down with soap and water in the bathtub, a little scrub brush, and uh, to clean off any oils and grime on there that might keep the paint from sticking. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this at an angle so I get the sides of the rail and uh, hopefully not too much at the top. And uh, so let me let me test actually on the side of this cabinet how big a spray, find a spray I want. Let me see. All right, I think I got it. Okay, so well. Hopefully this won't blow the track away. Ooh, you know, I didn't think about that. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to blow, so the force of the air is going to blow this track away. We'll see. I may have to stick a couple of brads in here to hold it in place, but uh, no biggie. We'll try it. All right. We're getting somewhere. Well, I think I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, it doesn't, look, uh, it doesn't look too bad. I have to give it another shot, but uh, let's try it again. I'm going to have to get a close-up picture of this with the camera, because I don't think you can uh, see the change going on here. But I'm going over this again. I think I got, uh, well, I'm getting it. All right, and it's not uh, blowing the track away. Let's take a look at that. No, it looks pretty good. Uh, I think I may have been at too shallow of an angle to get uh, the other side of the rail, so that's, uh, that's a part of practice. That's where practice comes in. Let me go flip this over and do the other side. So maybe if I take a little bit more let me get a little closer. Go a little slower. Like that. Oh, actually, that. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, this is. Uh, I'm telling you, this is pretty darn slick. I don't know why I didn't get into this earlier. Oops, am I spreading it all over myself here? All right, let's go do another shot. Now, this paint's fairly easy to clean off the rails. I think that did the trick. And at least the tie's fairly unscathed, okay? Actually, what's kind of nice is what overspray goes in the ties kind of dulls the shine a little bit, so you get uh, maybe just a light coating of paint on the ties, but then the overspray ends up dulling the shine on them, shine on them a little bit. Okay, let me go over this side again. Well, mateys, I think uh, I think Houston, we have liftoff. This isn't looking too bad, and this paint cleans off the top of the track real easy. Just take a bright boy or uh, some really fine uh, waterproof uh, um, emery paper, um, probably like around uh, six or eight hundred, six hundred grit or higher, and just. Uh, polish off the top of the rails and uh, have yourself a nice piece of weather track. So uh, next time I'm going to actually try my hand at doing a little weathering on a box car. So uh, uh, this is all for now. Well actually let me show you, you know, what, what you need to do when you're done with your spray gun. Ah, obviously. Very important thing to show you is to clean it. So let me get myself all set up to do that, and I'll be back with you in a sec.